welcome back to my channel. Today I brought you into my kitchen. I'm going to share with you all of my Amazon essentials, the things that I use every single day in the kitchen and that I love, all my random finds. So let's go ahead and get started. I will make sure to link everything down below if you guys are interested in any of the items that I share. And if you love this sweatshirt, it launches on Friday. My clothing line, Good To Be, is all loungewear that's meant to inspire you and motivate you through positive messaging. This sweatshirt is definitely one of my favorites, so it'll be available for pre-order on Friday along with a bunch of other cute pieces if you're interested. I will have the link for that down below as well too. But I think we're gonna start with small appliances. So in this cabinet in the kitchen, we have something that our organizer called an appliance garage and all of our mini appliances go down here. If you wanna see a video of how we organize our kitchen, I'll link that up here so you guys can watch it. But these are some of the small appliances I use on a daily basis. This one is my newest one. I just got this last week. It's a food processor. It was super affordable. I think it was around 40 to $50. I've made quite a few things with it already. I've made like vegan Parmesan cheese. I've made dressings. I've made protein balls. And this is awesome. It's just kind of like a great high speed blender when you're making like food items and not necessarily smoothies or soups and stuff. So I absolutely love it. I didn't want to get something expensive. So I didn't know if I was going to use it a lot, but I really love this purchase and it's just easy to throw in the dishwasher keep it in our little appliance garage. Next up, we have this tea kettle. I use this every day. Obviously you can tell it still has some water in it, but what's so great about this is it's an electric tea kettle. So you basically just put it on the little hot plate and you press this button down when it's plugged in. It lights up blue and it heats up the water within literally like a couple seconds. I mean, if you have a lot of water, it'll take a couple minutes, but it's so fast and easy and I love how convenient it is. I can just pop that top open, bring it over to my fridge and make tea or whatever I need hot water for. It's just really easy and convenient. I think this was like 29, 20 something dollars, like also super affordable, just a great little tea kettle. This is kind of a random one, but I thought I would include it because this is something we use every single day. It's our Bose little wireless speaker. So Michael and I love to hook our phones up to this while we're cooking dinner, while we're having breakfast, or we'll even like bring it outside with us if we're hanging out outside and just, we can listen to Spotify, listen to music. It's just great. It's something that Julian loves and he like dances around the house. It's so cute. So if you don't have a wireless speaker, you definitely need one. This is another thing that I love to have going on whenever we have parties or have family over. I can kind of set the mood or set the tone for the night by like what playlist we use. I just love music. So I love having this little wireless speaker and it's just really lightweight and easy. And then next up is my Vitamix. So this is the one thing that's like a little bit more expensive. I actually got mine refurbished. So I think it was a couple hundred dollars, but definitely an investment, but I use this every single day. I make a smoothie for either breakfast or lunch every day. And this is just the most powerful blender ever. And it just makes your smoothies very smooth and very even. There's no like grittiness to it. And if you love smoothies as much as I do, you definitely need a Vitamix or you can make little smoothie bowls. You can make soups with this. I use it all the time for a bunch of different stuff. So I love my Vitamix. Moving along, this is kind of my little coffee corner and also kind of like my baking corner. When we had our kitchen organized, I realized there were a lot of like essential items that I just didn't have. And I don't know why, because I cook all the time, but I guess maybe just through moving and stuff, I just didn't have these like basic essentials. So if you were like me and you don't have some basic essentials or you feel like you need to kind of upgrade or just get a fresh start, these are some things that I love to use on a daily basis. So this big set of mixing bowls, it actually comes with a few more. I just figured I'd show you these four right here, but ranging from really big to really small, you could use these as mixing bowls, serving bowls, whatever. Really affordable, but really great to have on hand when you need like different sized bowls to have like a complete set. This is another basic that I think everyone should have. It's just a Pyrex set of different measuring cups. This has really come in handy when you know, you're baking or you're making things where you need to measure out exactly a specific amount of something. I don't know why it took me so long to get these. I always just would use like measuring cups, but these are really handy. And then sometimes you can just kind of like add everything into there on its own. Another thing I got was a cheese grater. I use this to like get lemon zest or if you're using vegan cheese and you wanna make it from like a block of cheese into shreds, you can shred it on this. Just a great kind of essential to have. And then this strainer I use every single day. So if you guys make celery juice or if you make any type of green juice at home or regular juice and you want it to be really 
like smooth and have no extra pulp or anything like that it's really great to have a very tiny strainer or sifter i guess like this and get everything out so i use this every time i make my juice i recently started using these stasher bags and they're basically just reusable ziploc bags which i thought was a great idea not that we use ziploc bags all the time but if it's something i can easily swap out for something reusable why not do it? So I picked these up. They come in a bunch of different sizes and I'll use them just to store leftovers or to store like maybe just certain ingredients. I didn't use everything from like an onion or a tomato or a banana. You can freeze your fruit in here. So these are great to have. They're really easy to wash out. But I also have, I also have a ton of really great Tupperware. This is something that Michael and I actually got as a wedding gift. So it's been five years and it's great. So the brand is Sistema. And I have all the glass one and all the plastic ones. They're all great. So I have just like some dressing and stuff that I made in here. The protein balls, I'll store leftovers. So basically everything, I try to keep it in reusable containers if I can. So now let's get into the things that you guys ask me about all the time on Instagram, which is what I drink all my different drinks and teas and coffees out of. So first of all, we have this water carafe. We have a bunch of these. They're great to just put your filtered water in. You keep it in the fridge. You can pour your glass of water from this, but it also looks really nice having it out on the table or if you have people over, just it's a nice way to present just your like regular filtered water. And then you guys always ask about my coffee cups. So. First of all, the one that I'm drinking out of today, this is actually from Williams Sonoma. So I will go ahead and link it. It's not from Amazon, but I know um, some of you guys are still gonna be curious about this one. I love glass mugs. So I also have these ones. So hopefully here you guys can see the difference. This is like a really, really large mug, for like a big cup of coffee. And this would be more so for like a latte. So it's a little bit smaller, but I just love, it's like a cappuccino cup. I love the shape of that one. I've had that for years. And then we also have the really little espresso ones and these will hold like one or two shots of espresso or just if you want like a small little cup of coffee. Really cute. I love those ones. Another thing that I love is this acrylic tea organizer. This would be really pretty to display on your countertops. I've gone through phases where I keep it out or I keep it in a drawer, but it's just a great way to store and organize your tea. You can see everything you have and just pick it out right here. It's a really nice way to keep everything very organized and clean and functional. So moving along to these containers, these are my absolute favorites. I bought these a few months back when I started juicing every single morning and I have a slow juicer. So basically to my understanding, a slow juicer juices the produce slower and it doesn't use heat. So you can actually store the juice in your fridge or your freezer for a couple of days. So I bought these to be able to pre-make juice ahead of time so I wasn't having to make it every morning and I just think they're awesome. They're great for on the go, you know, if you have to like leave somewhere and you wanna bring your juice with you because it has the nice lid or just obviously drinking it at home. I always use glass straws too. I keep like a million of these. I love these little glass straws. They're like really convenient and easy. Of course, they're nice and reusable. They come with this little like, what, what do you call this? Straw cleaner straw cleaner that you can go in there and kind of clean the inside. I know a lot of people love like metal straws or like those silicone straws and stuff. And I think those are cool. But what I don't like about that is I can't see to make sure the inside gets clean. And that really grosses me out because straws are hard to keep clean if you don't have something like this. So I love that this comes with it and it's see-through and I can make sure everything gets clean. So all from Amazon and then these are actually little milk jugs I think they're really cute they're a little bit bigger than this one's about 16 ounces this is probably double the size what I use for these is to make like homemade coconut milk and I'll store them in here or you could do homemade almond milk or if you made like a big batch of juice anything that you wanted to store in here and they open up kind of like this and you just pour the liquid out. So I like to make my homemade coconut milk and I'll use this thing called a nut bag. So basically I just blend coconut flakes with a little water and some vanilla, maybe some dates, cinnamon, and then you kind of like strain it through this into the bowl and then you pour it in here and you store it in your fridge. And it's really cute and really healthy coconut milk. So this bamboo tray is awesome for all your silverware, your flatware. I keep our straws in here, Julian stuff. It's just so easy to keep your drawers organized with these little containers. I 
think I should be able to find this knife block on Amazon too. This is something that our organizer put in here, but this is also really convenient and just a way to get your knives off your countertop. So we have this one here. And then we also have one in this drawer. And the great thing about these is you can contract or expand them. So if you have different size drawers or if you move or you want to move these things around, they can be adjusted without having to buy something new. So I love that. And then as far as like little random things go in here, I use my lemon squeezer every single day. You guys know I'm obsessed with lemon water. So we use this all the time. It's just a great way to make sure you're getting all the juice from your lemons. This one is actually a gift from KG, her company Glow Girls. I think it's so cute and pink. And then this is another thing I use all the time. Whenever I'm making homemade salads, I used to hate making homemade salads. So I thought they didn't taste like restaurant quality, but then I got these and they're like little salad shears and they just chop everything up so finely and easily. You could probably use it for other stuff besides just lettuce, but this is a game changer if you're making homemade salads, a great Amazon find that I love. And then also this little diffuser is from Amazon. I've had this for a long time. I've showed this in the Amazon video before, but it's just really, I think it's pretty and kind of aesthetically pleasing. It matches the rest of our house. So I just keep it here on the counter. It has different like colors. So red, green, blue, I think it's purple too. And you can adjust it for one, three or six hours and we'll just diffuse. Um, right now we have in Santal, but anything, I just like to have that going. It keeps the house smelling really, really good. Welcome to my pantry. We also showed exactly how we organized this in our kitchen organization video, but something that I've had for a long time are these containers from OXO. They really keep your food fresh. So we have a bunch of them down here on this bottom shelf. That way Julian can reach them and grab a snack himself. He just has his little Teddy Grahams in here, but you just basically pop it open and you can reach in. So that's something that's great to have. We have those little ones and then we also have these ones that we keep cereal in and just keeps your food fresher a lot longer. And then you can also see exactly how much you have left. So I love these. And then we also have a bunch of these really pretty baskets kind of around the house. I bought a big set of these off Amazon about a year ago and we use them in the kitchen and the bathroom and the laundry room. So this is just a small one that'll keep things like potatoes and stuff in, but then I also have this huge one. In this one, I keep my juicer in all the different compartments for my juicer. It's really heavy, but it's nice that this has handles so I can just kind of store everything in here. And when I'm making my juice in the morning, I can just grab this whole thing, bring it out, and then put it back in and keep things really organized. So this is just a nice big set of different baskets. So oh, those are all of my Amazon kitchen essentials. Make sure you guys check out Good To Be on Friday if you want to pre-order this sweatshirt or any of the other pieces in the spring collection. Definitely don't miss out. You can only order them for those three days and then they're usually gone forever unless something like a big hit, then we'll bring it back. But make sure to subscribe if you're new. I make new videos every week and I will have links to everything down below in the description box. If there's anything else you have questions about, just let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.